Yeah. 
you, you know me. And as the people have entered just now, you almost look up. I'm called John Fred to Kahirwa Oweri. I come from Uganda. I stay in the capital city, Kampala. I see Kampala. I'm a preacher of the gospel. Inside the name, there are many nations. And there are many denominations. I am interdenomination. But I serve in Anglican Church. And I partner with PhD. When Mama Kenya called me, I told she told me you are a PhD girl. I said you have never given me an envelope of tithes. Because that's what confirms me as a member. I believe I will go with it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was trying to pray around this day. And say, I'm so much in this conference. And I believe women you have been blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe women you have been blessed. Don't allow your husband. Don't allow your husband to go for massage. You can go to the sauna in your bed. Until you put a massage on your husband. 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 You understand what I'm talking about? Don't die. Woman, don't die. 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 Don't this morning I want to talk about something that I felt is going to be relevant, especially as we are going back home. Hasa tunaweza kurudi nyumbani. 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 Hasa Bearing the fruit of your calling. I'm waiting for you to write it down. And then I'll give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. Let me give you the details of the message. And even fulfilling her call in that marriage. It was sustained by prayer. It was sustained by prayer. It was sustained by prayer. And right now, that's why we call it. We talk about Israel. Even when Israel is spoken, 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 even when Israel is
Paul says Paul anasema, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 22 to 25 that is in that I want my brother or my son to read for us Taisoma 1 Corinthians Corinto wa kwanza chapter 9 lango wa 9 verse 22 Stari 22 hadi 25 Kwa wanyonge nalikuwa mnyonge ili niwapate wanyonge Nimekuwa hali zote kwa watu wote ili kwa njia zote nipate kuwaokoa watu Nami nafanya mambo yote kwa ajili ya injili ili kuishiriki pamoja na wengine Je, hamjui ya kuwa wale washinda nao kwa kupiga mbio kupiga mbio wote lakini apokee tuzo ni mmoja. Pigeni mbio namna hiyo ili mpate ili mpate. Na kila asina naye katika michezo hujizuia katika yote bali hao ufanya hivyo kusudi wapokee taji iliyoharibikayo. Bali sisi tupokee taji isiyoharibika. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa mama haleluya. Kwa inje haleluya. Waije haleluya. Waije haleluya. I want all of us to feel we are family. Nataka sote tuhisi kwamba sisi ni familia. So Paul says. Paul anasema. To the weak. Kwa wanyonge. I became weak. Nilikuwa mnyonge. To win the weak. Kwa kwa kuweza kuwafikia wanyonge. Not because I Because I was strong. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you hear how Paul introduces himself. In the places where he went to preach. When he's giving his testimony. And Jesus met him. What was Damascus? I was among the land. A man the land. A committed guy. Mtu aliyejitolea. But he says, lakini anasema, to the weak, kwa wanaifu, I became weak. Na nilifanya mnyonge. So that I may win them. Ili nikaweze kuwafikia. I'm talking to ministers. Na kuzungumzia wa huduma. Who are going back over districts? Ambao wana wanarudi kwa wilaya zao. Who are going back to churches? Ambao wanarudi kwa kanisa zao. Who have titles? Who have gone to school? Paul is challenging us. Paul is challenging us. He is saying to the weak. I became weak. Not because I was weak. But I wanted to win the weak. I have become all things to all men. I have become all things. Ni kwa vitu vyote kwa watu wote. So that by that possible means, ili katika njia hiyo, I may save some. Niweze kuokoa baadhi ya. Then verse 23 says, I do all this for the sake of the gospel. Na yafanya haya yote kwa ajili ya injili. And I may share in the blessings. Ili kwamba niendelee katika baraka. Men of us we are in the church. Wengi wetu tuko kanisani. All of us we have a call upon our lives. But every time we are doing whatever we are doing. We are forgetting that there is somebody whom we have to give an account to. Tunasahau kwamba kuna mtu tunayewajibikia. There is somebody whom we give an account to. Kuna mtu tunayewajibikia. In all our callings. Katika mito yetu yote. Whether you are a wife uwe mke there is somebody who made you a wife kuna mtu aliyekufanya kuwa mke and i said a wife ninasema mke not a nice sio kisu because there is somebody who made you a wife kwa sababu kuna aliyekufanya kuwa There is somebody who put you to be a husband. And he made you ahead of the family. That is your call. And then he has added us other other 
means by giving us desires by giving us talents by giving us gifts and even those gifts they are given by the Holy Spirit so that you may bear fruit the Bible says all gifts come from the same I am very proud that I have your teacher in the house. He will collect me. I speak confidently. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All gifts the power of God, they come from the Holy Spirit. I said gifts. Mm. Gifts the power. So if you have the gift of prophecy, you are not better than the one who has the gift of interpreting. You are not better than the one who has the gift of interpreting. Need me. Praise the Lord. If you have the gift of healing, and somebody has the gift of teaching, all of them come from one person. I say one person that is the Holy Spirit. And out of God, at the end of the day, God expects a fruit. Mm. Amen. Amen. He expects a fruit. And not all fruits are fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because we also have wild fruits. I said we have wild fruits. Praise the Lord. So he says, I did all this for the sake of the gospel that I may also share in his blessings. Not only give to the people, but at the end of the day, I come out empty. And then Paul tells us a story to strengthen his message. In verse 24, he gives an example of the athletes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He uses the people who do boxing and he uses the people who run. And you know in Africa, we have the best runners at Kenya. Amen. 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 The best runners. That's why when you learn in Kenya, you know there are people who are ever. When I go to the water, when I come here, when I go and enter here, you know this is a Uganda. When I go to the Uganda, you know this is a Tanzania. When I go to Uganda, you know this is a Tanzania. So Kenyans are known as guys. We go Kenya when you can't come out to our house. You have to be. Hey, what's your name? Who can tell me about Kenya? When I start to tell you about Marisa, we go to Jakarta and we go to the temple. And that's why he says, all those folks 
boxers, and all those runners, they have the rules that govern them. They have the rules that govern them. If you are not disciplined, you are disqualified. If you, if you don't go according to the rules, they will disqualify you. So he said, even us in the church, as ministers, as leaders, we have God's principles that govern the game of preachers, that govern the, the kingdom. Praise the Lord. And he said, the way those runners and boxers they do training and they work hard so that they can confide. And he says, you find there are two people in the game. And each person is working hard and they get a goal. They get a reward. And that's what the church forgets. We are not working on the reward. Aiming on the reward. Aiming on the crown. We are right. Paul says, Paul says, let it not find me is in that person who is boxing. I am focused. I am focused. And I am not waiting for me. I Talkers. 
I want to be Mama Tuo. I want to be Mama Tuo. I want to be Mama Kalisa. I want to be Mama Director. Tuo. Na wapi anta wasaidia? Kanisa yetu itajaja, itashughulikia mchungaji. Na kuambia mtaamia mtaangalia mchungaji, mtasema huyu ni mchungaji wetu, nitamshughulikia. Na baada ya hiyo, ni wao taanza kumrarua mgongo. They have boldness. Wana ujasiri. Lakini hawana tabia. Let me tell you children of God. Ataniwaambia watoto wa Mungu. Boldness will give your husband. Ujasiri utakufuatia mume. Boldness will give you a home. Ujasiri utakufuatia makazi. Because you know how to work. Kwa sababu unajua jinsi ya kutembea. To cut. Unajua jinsi ya ku. You know how to pamba. Unajua kujipamba. But it is character. Lakini ni tabia that will sustain that home. Ambayo itahifadhi hiyo ndo. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Boldness will give you a job. Ujasiri utakufuatia kazi. But it is character. Lakini ni tabia. That will keep you that job. Ambayo utakufanya kazi. And who works character? Na ni nani utengeneza tabia? The father. Ni baba. Who is the gardener? Ambaye ni mkulima. He knows the branch that he knows the leaf that you don't need. Anajua tawi asilohitaji. He knows the leaf that you don't need. Anajua lile jani ambalo huhitaji. That which will not allow it to bear much. Ila baba litafanya usizae matunda mengi. He prunes it. Bila sema analikata. He prunes it. Analikata. So that you may bear much. Ili kama uzae matunda mengi. Ask your neighbor. Uliza jirani yako. Are you connected to the true vine? Yeah, we're still manishu na zani kuwa ukweli. Or you are not the wild vine. Ask your neighbor, what kind of fruit are you bearing? Uliza jirani yako, unazina ya kutukira na nangadea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he says, Kisha anasema, without me, bila ya mimi, you cannot bear fruit. Wewe ni mtu. Without me, bila ya mimi. Then he says you must abide in the vine. Lazima ukae kwenye mzabibu. Abide in the vine. Ukae kwenye mzabibu. The word of God abides in you. Neno la Mungu likae ndani yako. Ndipo utaweza. Usaha matunda mengi. Abiding there. Ka, kuka, it's not visiting there. Sio kutembelea pale. Mm. When you went to Metemelea for Christo, miaka miwili umetoka. Wakati wa vita unasema Yesu ka hapa. Wacha nimuonyeshe huyu mtu. Mimi ni nani? Yes. Bearing the fruit of your calling. 
Zatunda na mtu wako. Each one of us has a calling. Each one of us has something. That God has deposited in us. Our God is very sufficient. Praise the Lord. When you abide in Christ, Christ, then you cease to be. Because God has proved you. You look like Jesus. The Bible says in Acts of the Apostles, when they saw Paul and the when they saw Peter and the children, even when Jesus had already gone, when they saw Peter and the children,
Say amen. amen. God says no, in Galatians chapter 2. That was his secret. He secret. He he was he was he was for us. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I'm about to finish. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I'm about to finish. Galatians chapter 2, I'm just speaking the last word. Just giving you some lunch, some hot lunch to go with the truth. Yes. 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 Nimesulibiwa Nimesulibiwa Kamoja na Kristo Lakini ni hai Wala sini mitena Wala sini mitena Bale Kristo yu hai na ni ya Bale Kristo yu hai Na ni ma Kristo akiwa hai na ni mako Hautako hachuki Hautako hamasegenyo Hautako hamuongo Hautako Na uhai nilionao sasa Na uhai nilionao sasa Katika mwili Katika mwili Inao katika imani Inao katika imani Na mwana wa mungu Na mwana wa mungu Ambaye na nilipenda Ambaye na nilipenda Kakitua nafsi ya Kakitua nafsi ya Kwa hatili ya Kwa hatili ya mungu There is somewhere Kuna mahali You are accountable Ambako kuna paso kutua hisa Siku wa mchungaji wako Siku askofu, siku wa mama Kenya, lakini wa Kristo, mwenye halali, mwenye hasensi. Anakuona kia na soko, anakuona kwa mba bedu yako, anakuona kwa na mzee kwa chumba chakulala. Usijimu kwe mama, eshimu bedu yako, si bedu ya vita. Wacha mse ya kumosike, asukula mwambie mambo yako. Sili yu hapi nye ya ifanya, hata kama likuwa meweleka na mchina. Uwe mse, niko na haja kukusulane. Katu mchutu uzumuse. Uwe, ni wakati wa kulala. Honali, kaa, tumalisane na wewe. Watoto wa milala, hanya kaza milala, ni mimi na ewe. That bedroom is a holy place. Hapo mchuma za kulala, ni mahali kaja katifu. Where destiny is a board. Mahali hatima zinazaliwa. That's where revelations are got. Hapo nipo fulio tinapatika. That's where destiny is a board. Bearing the fruit of your court. Praise the Lord. For you to bear a fruit of your call, you must sacrifice your life. There are things even when you want to talk, you zip your mouth and you say, Holy Spirit, you can't talk on my behalf. Me, I cannot talk now. If I talk, the only chocolate will come back. So, Holy Spirit, let me keep my mouth. So what he says, he says, I have set an angel before you. You must obey him. That is in Exodus. He says, I have set an angel before you. You must obey him because he has my name. Some things you don't need to talk to mama. Some things you don't need to talk to leaders. Watch out what one of the fathers has. Some things you don't need to talk to mothers. Bearing the fruit. That's under. 
Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. You must bear the fruit of love. Love your husband. Love the people you're serving. Love the neighbors. Love even your enemies. You must bear the fruit of joy. Always smile. Always laugh. The Bible says joy does good like medicine. That's what Proverbs say. Joy, joy does good like medicine. Instead of being angry, instead of being bitter, joy let me show you prefer. The joy of the Lord is my strength. That's what Nehemiah said. He had a position of a young woman who still wants to share time at all to the Sanquo. And I'm going to check it out. Let me read this. 
Bearing the fruit of your calling. First Corinthians, this gift is still Paul saying. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2. What does it say? Inasema nini? Verse 2. Nini? Uh, what does it say? Verse 2. Verse 2. Mstari wa 2. Wa Korintho wa kwanza mlango wa 4 mstari wa 2. Hapo tena inayohitajiwa katika mawakili. Hapo tena inayotajiwa inayohitajiwa katika mawakili my version says what is required a requirement inacho hitaji hitaji ama kinachohitajiwa kwa mkristo kwa kiongozi kwa mama director kwa mama kenya kwa mama tuo kwa mama kwa mama kwa mama kwa mama kwa mama unachelea Mama Karani, Mama Se, Mama Teresa. The requirement here. Ndio nitatika. Ndio mtu awe kali kwa maminifu. Mtu awe maminifu. Mtu awe maminifu. Mtu awe maminifu. Maminifu. He says, he who has been given trust must prove, 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 come on, should I say my requirements? What is required as a leader? What is required as a wife? What is required? A requirement to the husband is what? Faithfulness. 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 That's why Mama Kenya has been given money. Your mother, Mama Kenya, has been paid for the beautiful girls. Masiria, what's that? How are you? She's giving you life. I'm, 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 Some of us, we are leaders. God has trusted us. And has given us money to buy who was our mama. To buy sales for microphones. To buy sales for microphones. And my brother is here. But that's how you know. Do you buy tiger. Because tiger is 100. And you know is 1,000. So 90, 900. Faithfulness. Friends, faithfulness. The Bible says this. To the faithful, I will show myself. To the faithful, I will show myself. Faithful. Not only on one day, not only with you and your husband, even in ministry, when you tell the women, we are meeting at church at three, and we come at five, and we are in a kiongozi, and you come down sick. Yes. And you come down sick. Yes. 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 Faithfulness. 
wamilifu Faithfulness on time. Wamilifu hata kwa wakati. Faithfulness to your husband. Wamilifu kwa mume wako. Faithfulness on sex. Wamilifu kwa ngono. Yes. Sasa sisi angalia ni baya. Which is the thing? Ni maandiko. Okay, dia bado hivi tu. Mungu anaelea kwanza. I've been preaching in your churches. And men are crying. Families are crying. Let us go back and bear fruit. The Bible says God killed the son of Judah. Let us go back and bear fruit. Come out to your kifungu uliza baba yako atakwambia. Kama unjio kufungu uliza kama unatoka hiyo kwa mlango uliza please kwa kata kwambia ni kufunga kwa wapi Yesema huyu mtu ndani kuna ibada amekuja sasa kuambia maneno na niko na mama mko kwa nyumba wewe Kama ingekuwa hivyo yeye yuko kwa Biblia Kijana ya Yuda Mungu akafanya nini akamuua akifanya mchanja ndani ya mrangeti yes. na anachezea mrembo wa wengine yeah. na Mungu akamwambia kitendo hiki nimefanya hapo amoka faithfulness wamilifu usicheke wewe mama faithfulness faithfulness wamilifu usikunywe kwa kisiwa cha wengine kunywa yako Amen. I'm saying faithfulness. Utakunywa huko, utapalala. Utakuja kama umepalala. Upako Aisha kama Samson. Samson ana mwa gate, anarusha Mount Kenya. Kwa kwa kuna nguvu kuna mpango. Mm. Lakini siku moja bila nienda, mahali pale mama yake alimzuia. Akamwambia wewe, hapa tuko kusikana. Mbona ile kwa mataifa? Hata kama ilikuwa mtukufu ya Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bila niamuka, akajitingiza. Akafikiria ni kama bila nafanyanga. Alikuwa ameshapana na kiroho kasema mimi ni mtu wa kawaida kama yeye i am just a mere man you are just a mere unaanguka ukiwa mwanamke wa kawaida tell me about faithfulness because of time i want to finish so you have to, to sacrifice ili lazima kwa lazima ujitoe you have to be this free lazima uwe na nidhamu You have to be faithful. Lazima uwe mwaminifu. Praise the Lord. You must be what? Faithful. Be faithful. Kwa mwaminifu. Paul continues to say. Paul anaendelea kusema. I don't just fight air. Sipigani tu na upepo. I compete for the crown. Ninapigania taji. There is a crown that waits for us. Second Timothy, I want to finish with that one. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 and 8. Matthew wa pili 4 7 na 8. And this is the script that they usually use and they become mad. Na huu ndio msali watu hutumia mpaka nasikia kwamba nimekuwa waziri. When somebody dies. Wakifa. They put it on those bulletins. Wanaiweka kwa ile matangazo ya vifo. I have fought a good fight. I have run the race. I have kept the faith. You may wait a man. Now I'm ready for the crown. Papa nimejiandaa kwa ajili ya taifa. Na wewe utalipa kiambasi? Na wewe mtoki. Na wewe mtu amepigana vita na mchungaji mpaka roho akamchapa na stroke. And then you say yes. 
When she changed, she accepted the change. When she found grace, she accepted the change. Even when Hebrews say, even love the prostitute. In the book of the heroes, she purposed to stand with the men of God. She was not a preacher, but she stood behind the preachers. That was her call. And through that, she got that truth to marry her. And become the mother of who? He became the mother of who? You don't like your Bible. You don't read your Bible. So Rahab became the mother of who? Rahab became the mother of who? The husband of truth. Oh, I She was a mother in law to Ruth. The grandmother of Obed. The great grandmother to Jesse. The great great grandmother to David. David, the father of Jesus. Jesus, son of David. Yes, Have mercy upon us. Praise the Lord. And she is in the book of the generals. She is in the book of the heroes. She is known by God. And she is known by God. 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 She is known by She is known by God. 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 She is written in the books of the heroes. She is known by God. 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 She is known by Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? And that which you have learned, go and pass it on to others. That's why you get it in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. We teach so that you can teach your congregation. And the best teacher is a life lived. It is not writing on the Bible. It's not opening the Bible. What it says? 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 What
Usiye sabu siku setu. Juzi ni niwangia na isa kulala siku ya uwezi mwona. So be faithful to that man. So that you can take care of you Be faithful to that man So that when he wakes up in the morning And the leg says I'm not taking you outside At least somebody can go and look for the witch And up and pushes you He says teach us How to number our days That we may use them properly Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalm 39 verse 4. Understand the time, friends. Leaders who are here, understand the time. Not only hear the voice. Not only hear the voice. You will not sit on that seat forever. So serve God when you have been given opportunity to make your own Serve as though so you never serve again. Serve as though so you never serve again. Could you have things to, to make your ministry aware? Okay. okay. Where is a team to visit the sick? Where is a team to visit the widows? Where is a team to visit the pastor? Apart from the church gathering, you serve as the office of Mama District Mama Director. You visit your pastor. Come on, office. Be clear to your team. You are there for five years. Buy the curtains for the church. Buy the flowers for the altar. Teach me how to number my days. And use it properly. Have the third to see what people don't see and tell people what people don't see. That's why you see Elijah prayed for his servant seven times that he may see the way he sees. That's why you see Elijah praying for his servant so he could open his eyes he may see the way and when he saw the way Elisha saw him, he saw victory, he saw angels, he saw the possibility. Don't be a leader who always sees the impossibility. Be faithful to the man who has the right to do it. Be faithful to the man who has the right to do it. I was waiting for us to read some of this. Just verse four. I'm finishing my faith. I'm finishing. Sema, bwana ni julishi mshoro wangu na kiasi cha siku zangu ni kiasi gani? Ni juu jinsi ni livyo daifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is Psalm 39. Here is Psalm 39. Let me say, show me, O oh Lord, my life, the number of my days. Let me know. How fleeting is my life? And that's why the Bible says, as I finish, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, verse 36, the Bible says, and David served God's purpose in his generation. What will they remember you? That they gave you the money for the car. And you ate half of the money. And you bought them a dead car. Which is always in the garage. Which is hitting every minute. Which has some, some of the things are not there. When you try it, the boot cannot close. <laughs> when you want to open the windows, they cannot open. <laughs> because you went for the old car. <laughs> but will they remember you? <laughs> you have the money for church. 
they gave you the money to buy the sufriyas and the bread for the church. And you ate the money. They gave you the money for the suit of the pastor. You brought him a material which he cannot put on. Do you know that your pastors also have the class? Safila, 
You may not die physically, but you die spiritually. Your marriage dies spiritually. Your children die spiritually. Your business dies spiritually. Please don't allow that. Let us bear the fruit. Jesus being the true vine. Let us not bear the wild fruits. Tunda la mwitu. Hata haya ni matunda. Si ni matunda. Lakini yeye na kwanga ya monkeys. Si ya wanadamu. Natoka eh, mama Kenya nenda. Natoka baba kuji. Tunaenda kuomba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mimi nimemaliza. Mungu akawa akawabariki. Ende nyumbani mkuu wa mama wa amani. Kwenye nyumbani mtufikishe yeye mfunza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama uko hapa. Ulikuja kwa kongamano hii. Ukijiita Mkristo. Lakini kweli kweli kupitia kwa hii mafunzo ya watumishi wa Bwana wenye wamefunza, unaona kweli kweli hata hujakaribia. Wokofu. Usiaibike. Inua mkono wako. Juzi nilikuwa nawaambia niliokoka 1982. In 1989, my husband was killed. And I wanted to go and kill him. Sini mwambia? Kuwa na nini? How did you meet? Ni maliza hiyo familia. Kwana yesa sifiwe. Na mungu wakasima mamele yangu. Kani yambia nini? Sitikisha kisazi. Vengeance belongs to me. Sitikisha. But the Bible says he who thinks of killing has killed. And I moved in that place of backsliding. Until one day I got a vision that Jesus has come back and I was not going to heaven. And I saw myself going in hell. And I said, I'm going to heaven. But I could not even reach heaven. I landed in no man's land. Then the people singing in heaven, on the heavenly side, and the people singing And God was giving me an opportunity to come back to the grace. In 1990, I came back to the grace. I repented. I told God, forgive me. Now I can understand. You are holding me responsible. I am not connected to the vine. And I have committed my life. And today I have been a blessing to nations. And I have been a blessing to you. And you have a call upon you. Friends, let us get connected to the truth. If you are here, and you realize, actually you are bearing the fruit of the wild fruit. Or you are here, and you say, I'm not connected to the truth. So that I cannot go to work character in me. But even in the new elections, they can me another time. Because I have transformed man. I have transformed woman. I am my love. In the book of the heroes, if you are here and you are not connected to the truth, lift up your hand. I want to pray for you. Don't be ashamed of the name. Don't be ashamed of the title you carry. Raise your hand. 